Hello, my name is Jeffrey Pilkington. I'm the Horn Professor at Shenandoah Conservatory, and today we're going to do a quick read-through of the 2022 All Virginia Etude. I'll give you some tips on how to practice it afterwards, and please feel free to reach out with any questions you might have. Good luck, everyone, and happy practicing. All right, let's break down a couple of ideas on this now. First of all, it's marked Allegro Grazioso. So we're gonna take it rather quick, but we also want it to be graceful and elegant. And what that means to me when I'm approaching something in terms of the style is um, I wanna lighten up the articulation or the note length and not sustain quite as much, which will help imply that elegance. So for the first figure here, if we were to play it very full value on every note, it might not sound so elegant or graceful. It's just kind of heavy. If I play with the same dynamic, but I change the character and I lighten up the ends of the notes, we can establish a different idea for this. So simply by being aware of how we're going to sustain through the ends of the notes, we can dial in the kind of style that we want to achieve here. It's always a good idea to sing through the piece and move the valves in time so that you can establish a coordination with your airflow and your musical ideas without wasting any of your endurance along the way. I find that typically on the dotted quarters, it's easy to relax the air too much, and then you feel like you have to reach up for the high note. My biggest advice here is to keep the subdivisions going, and for each dotted quarter, think three eighths. It will help keep your time stable, but it will also help you keep the airflow constant. I might even recommend play the subdivisions out loud once. <laughs> Next, let's have a look at the Poco Rallentandos. Let's make sure that we use this in a way that serves the music as well as our breathing. What I did was I played through it a couple different times and found something that worked for me, and then I marked in where I wanted to breathe so I could try to replicate that. And it's really important to decide that ahead of time so that when you walk in and play your audition, you're not second guessing where it is you'd like to take your breath. For the first rallentando, make sure that you keep your volume stable as you're descending to the fermata note. Take your breath in tempo and come in on the low G at a comfortable dynamic. It's already going to sound softer, being a fifth lower, and make sure that you have really solid contact with your upper and lower chops for this. <laughs> Finally, at the end, we have a Molto Ritardando. I have one version that I presented here, but don't feel the need to copy me. I encourage you to have fun with this and find your version of it. 
I hope you found this video helpful as you begin your preparation for all Virginia auditions. And as always, I recommend having a tuner and a metronome nearby as you're practicing. Wishing you all the best. Thank you.